You control how they show up in your life. Hello, my loves, and welcome back. If you're new here, I am Jacqueline. I am your manifestation bestie, and my channel is dedicated toward helping you manifest your best life. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. I also have my free Facebook group and merchandise down below as well. You can change how somebody shows up in your life. The concepts you hold about somebody, the way you think they will treat you, how you feel about them dictates how they show up in your life. If you are in a low mood regarding your relationship with them, are you thinking negative thoughts about them? If so, then that is how they will show up in your life. They will treat you the way you believe they will treat you. You are in control of how others show up in your life. You are the creator of your own reality and your thoughts create this reality. So when your thoughts get the best of you and your vibration lowers, then you start attracting those concerns you were thinking of in the first place into your life. You worry that they will stop wanting you, that they will stop messaging you, that they will want somebody else instead, or that they will start treating you crappy. When you have these thoughts, you are aligning with that vibration and that version of them and manifesting that version of them into your life. But when you become aware of this, and we all do this at different levels, so if you can become aware of it, then you can change it and start aligning and attracting with the version of them you want to show up in your life. I say this in every video, but like attracts like, and we do not manifest what we want, we manifest what we are. So stop resonating with the version of that person that you do not want. Stop worrying about what could go wrong. And most importantly, if something is going wrong, stop worrying and putting your focus on what is going wrong. So if you have a relationship that is important to you and they are not showing up how you want them to, stop focusing on what they are doing wrong. Ignore it. Put all of your focus on how you want them to show up. You're going to pretend that they are showing up exactly how you want them to show up and feel all those good feelings of them showing up how you desire. You completely ignore the problem that you perceive in this 3D reality of what they are doing wrong and focus on exactly how you want them to show up in your reality. You are going to align with the version of them that you want to experience. Let me give you a personal real life example of changing an SP in my life. So I have a really good friend of mine who is very important to me. Her friendship means the world to me and she did something to hurt my feelings accidentally, but it was a trigger point for me because I had had a friend in the past do something similar. So I pulled away. I started having negative thoughts and I started worrying and stressing that our friendship would never get back to being good and we wouldn't get back to the happy version of ourselves that we were prior to this incident. So I ruminated on these negative thoughts and she did apologize as soon as she realized she hurt my feelings and it was genuine and her apology all made sense, but I still couldn't help but feel the pit in my stomach and feel sad and ruminate on these negative thoughts and those thoughts that were negative turned into negative feelings. I continue to manifest this sadness and disconnect with this friend in my life and it went on for weeks. I felt off and I felt like we would never get back to where I wanted us to be, which was important to me because I did value this friendship. Prior to this incident, this friend and I did so much stuff together on a weekly basis. And since that incident, we started not lining up our schedules. Things weren't meshing, we were completely disconnected, and it just compounded the feelings of sadness and loss in this friendship. Now, my girlfriends, they're very important to me. They're like family to me. So watching this friendship deteriorate was killing me inside. I knew I was manifesting this negativity into my life by worrying about this exact event happening in the first place and then continuing to have these negative thoughts about the situation. I was keeping it active in my life. Now I have a lot of you guys come to me and explain that you're upset about how your SP is showing up in your life or upset about something that they did. So I wanted to make this video to share with you that you can change the trajectory of your reality 
with your thoughts and your manifestation practice. So I decided that I needed to stop dwelling in the fear and the negativity that I was having regarding this friendship. I needed to stop having these negative thoughts and manifesting that version of her in my life and these feelings that I continued to have. So even though I felt negative, I knew I needed to get back to my manifestation practice so I could change the outcome that I wanted. So before I went to bed that night, I decided to sit down and do just a 10 minute meditation to visualize this friend in the relationship how I wanted her to be, to see in my mind's eye exactly how I wanted this friendship to be. So during this visualization, I just relaxed for a couple minutes and then I started seeing the version of the friendship with her I wanted in my mind. I started visualizing the things that we did before this altercation where we hung out on a weekly basis and we were connected and we had this loving, open, happy friendship. I just visualized doing all the things that we normally did together and feeling all the happy feelings and being connected in this friendship. And I really felt into the feelings of how it was, how good it felt to have this happy, healthy relationship. And I just sat there and I think it went on for about 12 minutes when I opened my eyes and I had just experienced that version of this friendship and enjoyed those feelings. So I could get out of the negative feeling that I was feeling towards this relationship. Now, like I said, when I sat down to visualize and meditate, I was feeling really sad and really negative, but I still made the step to do my best to tap into the feelings of the manifestation I wanted. I really just ignored the current reality and visualized the reality that I wanted in my mind and tapped into those feelings of this amazing friendship. The very next morning, I woke up and I received the sweetest, kindest text messages from this friend. She wrote about how thankful she is to have me in her life and how I am such an important part of her life and she does not want me to forget that. She even sent this sweet little quote that said, your friendship means the world to me and I just wanted to let you know. From that 10 minute visualization practice I did, I completely turned things around overnight. I raised my vibration to the version of the friendship that I wanted. I opened the doors and got out of my own way with those negative thoughts I had had and leveled up my life to receive the version of this friendship that I wanted. So that friend and I are back on track. We're back to feeling good and where I want us to be. And not only did she reach out to me and say all these beautiful things, I had multiple other friends reach out that same day too. And I had another girlfriend even say she had a dream about me that night after my visualization of some fun trip in Vegas. And my husband was coming to me telling me how much he appreciated me. So from 10 minutes, I feel like I completely jumped one reality to the next with just raising my vibration during my visualization practice, tapping into those feelings of the version that I wanted, how I wanted to be treated from this friend in particular, and it allowed it to come from multiple other friends as well. Tapping into our desires through visualization 100% raises our vibration to align us with our desires. Now for me, manifesting friendships is something I do fairly easily. It's one of the manifestations I don't have resistance to. So I can manifest specific persons, friendships, people, sometimes almost instantly. It's something I find easy, but not all areas of my manifestations are the same. Other manifestations I have more resistance to and can take longer. So if SPs are something that you hold more resistance to and you struggle to manifest, you probably need to visualize more than just one time like I did. But if you stay consistent and tap into those feelings of the version of them that you want, then you will align with that version of them to manifest that into your life. So remember to stay consistent because the world is at your fingertips. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below, comment and let me know your manifestations. If you are trying to manifest an SP of any area of your life, romantic, friendship, whatever, drop it in the comments below. Hit subscribe for more manifestation videos from me to help you manifest your best life. I always have my free Facebook group that is linked down below to connect with me and other like-minded manifestors and my merchandise will also be down there. Until next time, I will see you guys later.